refer to this computer. And um, so when we're looking at this warm up here, there's only going to be one um, on these vertical or horizontal ones, there's only going to be one letter that represents that equation. So I want you to write the equation for A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, I want you to try E using that form, that equation y equals mx plus b. I want you to take um, a minute and 30 right now to um, go through and work on these five, okay? Okay, timer is started. I want you to, on the slideshow, write the equation for each of these five lines, okay? Once you get some of your equations, why don't you throw them in the chat so that we can discuss them and I can throw them in. Nice job, Olivia. Make sure you label them. Oh, nice. That's very close, Diego. So start with A, Diego. It might be a little bit easier for you. Nice job, Olivia. Make sure that when you're putting them in the chat, you're labeling them. So like A is equal to, B is equal to. Nice job, Jaden. Nice job, Olivia. Fantastic. We're taking another 30 seconds. You guys are doing great. Ooh, interesting. So we're going to think about We're going to do Yeah, we're going to do we're going to do E in a minute, okay? Nice job, Olivia. Fantastic. Nice job, Billy. We're taking another 15 seconds. Okay, so first, I just have a question because Mr. May is kind of bad at pronouncing names. Am I pronouncing your name correct when I say your name is Aaliyah? Our new friend, maybe? Let me know in the chat. Is that how you say your name, Aaliyah? I wanna make sure that I'm saying, perfect, Aaliyah, perfect. Awesome. So Aaliyah, we use, I don't know how much Miss, um, um, oh my goodness, Mr. Main, Miss Albert uses her chat, but when I always pose a question, if you have an answer to my question, always feel free to put that answer in the chat, okay? So let's take a look at these equations for um, each of these, um, equation lines here. So um, let's take a look at what some of these equations would be. And we want to make sure when we're writing these equations that we're actually also giving, we're saying the value that it hits, but we also want to make sure that we're giving it y is equal to or x is equal to. So Olivia, for the first one, why did you say y is equal to for that one? Oh, I meant to say x. Oh, no, 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 I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying, I'm just saying, why did you say why? Oh, um, probably because it, I thought it went up and down, but it actually goes side to side for the first one. Okay, so that first one is A, it's going side to side. The re but you were correct when you said Y is equal to. And the reason that we say Y is equal to is because it hits our Y axis. So remember when, we, when we're talking about a, a horizontal or a vertical line, there's only gonna be one letter. And the letter that you use is the axis that it hits. So for example, this A is gonna be Y is equal to, yes, Diego, I'm gonna talk about it in a minute, dude. I'm, going through it one at a time, okay? So um, when we're talking about these horizontal or verticals, we talk about which axis it hits. So this one is gonna be y is equal to, and then you say, what number does it hit at? It hits at this negative four. So y is equal to negative four, okay? So for b, if we're looking at the axis that it hits, which axis does it hit, Avery, for b? Yes, it hits negative five, but which axis does it hit, the X or the Y? Nice job, it hits the X. So we would write the equation as not just um, negative five is what it is, it would say, we would have to write it as X is equal to negative five because we have to, we have to tell which axis does it hit 
And then what number does it hit at the negative five? Okay, do we see that guys? So then now for C, which axis does C hit? Jaden, what do you think? It hits the y, very good. So because this red line hits our y axis, the equation is gonna start with a y is equal to, and then what number does it hit at, Jaden? It hits at, nice job, it hits at two, nice job, fantastic. Welcome, welcome, Jonah. So good to see you, my friend. Open up our slideshow for today and we will get started, okay? So we would say for the equation for C is Y is equal to two. When you're writing equations, you need to make sure that you're giving me a variable is equal to. And when it's a horizontal line like this, you're gonna say just one variable is equal to and then what number it hits at. So then if we're looking at this purple line here, what is gonna be the letter that we're gonna use or the variable that we're gonna use? Nice job, Jaden. Nice job, Diego. What do we think? Nice job, Avery. I love it. Fantastic. It's going to be, well, Christmas Carter, <laughs> which axis does that purple line hit? Which axis, X or Y, does that purple line hit? Yes. Aaliyah, yes, it hits the X axis. So we're going to say X is equal to, and then what number does it hit at? It doesn't hit the Y axis, Carter. Make sure you're looking at that purple line. Which axis does it cross? It hits the X axis at, yes, Aaliyah and Jaden. It hits at six. Fantastic job, both of you. I'm so proud of you. Awesome. So then we just found the equations for these four, equa these four lines. Look at that. Awesome job. Now here comes this little trickster guy. And when we're writing the equation for a slanted line that either goes up or down, it's going to look a little bit different. When we look at vertical or horizontal lines, we only do one variable or one letter. But when we have a slanted one, that's where we need to use this equation to help us. Y equals mx plus b. So when we're writing the equation for this line, we're gonna say, nice job, Diego, y is equal to, and that m, if we remember, the m represents the y axis. I mean, the, the, the slope, Mr. Main, the slope. So if we need to calculate the slope, how do we calculate the slope on a graph? What do we have to draw in? Oh my goodness, what do we think? A slope triangle, yes, Jaden. So let's take a look at, and let's try in a slope triangle for ourselves. I have to find a spot where it hits four boxes perfectly, and it hits perfectly right here. And I'm gonna go down till it hits another spot, four boxes perfectly, which is right here. I'm going to change that color to orange just so that we can see it a little bit better. And let's take a look, oh my goodness. So I have this, I have my rise and my run. Ooh. So if I look at and I calculate my rise and my run, what's my rise? How many am I rising here? But what kind of two? I'm going down. So I'm, it's a, a negative two. Exactly. So it's a negative two here because my line is going down. As I read it left to right, it's going down. So it's a negative two for our rise. Then if we look at our run, how many are we running? Ooh, Mr. Main, let's try that again. We are running at one. Yes, very good. So if we're looking at trying to calculate the slope of rise over run, what's my slope going to be here? Nice job, Jaden. It's going to be y is equal to negative two over one, negative two over one. And to the slope, we always attach which letter? Nice job, Jaden. We're going to attach our X. Nice job, Avery. And then we need to add in plus our B, which we said our B is our Y intercept. Where does it hit our Y axis? What number does it hit our Y axis at? Nice job. And what kind of two is it hitting at? Yes, Avery, you read my mind, girl. It's a positive two. So we're going to say plus 
2 for this one. So we write it as y is equal to, we calculate our slope by drawing in a slope triangle. If it's going down, it's going to be a negative slope. 2 over 1x, attach our x to it, plus my y-intercept. Where does it hit my y-axis? At a positive 2. Awesome job, my friends. I'm so proud of everybody's hard work. I'm really, really super proud of Diego, who was working really, really hard this whole time and who was really, really excited to sort of talk us through and sort of give us some ideas on that one. Awesome, awesome job to everybody. I'm so proud of you. Okay, so let's take a look at our learning targets for today. Okay, so we have two learning targets for today. I know that the graph of an equation is a visual representation of all of the solutions to the equation. So we're going to be talking a little bit about that more towards the end of our in-person today and a lot during the afternoon portion. Then we're also going to be able to understand that the solution to an equation, um, understand what the solution to an equation in a two variables is. So before we've been talking about that y equals mx plus b. So now we're going to sort of look at equations that look a little bit different. Both of our variables or our letters are going to be on one side of the equation. And it's going to look a little bit different, but we're going to be able to figure out what does that solution mean. Okay, so now here we go. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. Okay, so when we slip and slide down to slide number four, let me tell you what I want you to do. Okay, so when we're on slide number four, it says at the corner produce market. So you're going to stop and shop. You're going to the place around the corner. They have apples that cost $1 each and oranges that cost $2 each. Okay, so we're using those prices to help us figure out the total cost of if you buy six apples and three oranges, four apples and four oranges, five apples and four oranges, eight apples and 12, two oranges. I want you to take a minute and a half right now to find out how much each of these four combinations will cost you and write them in this these boxes down below, okay? So I want you to take a minute and a half right now to um, calculate the total for each one of these sort of combinations of apples and oranges. Make sure that you label them as like A is equal to, B is equal to, C is equal to, and D is equal to, okay? So Diego, why don't you go back and label them, okay? Wonderful, you're taking another 57 working seconds. You guys are doing so fantastic, keep it up. I'm just gonna get myself some water, I'll be right back. I can hear everything that you have to say. Awesome job guys, another 39 seconds, you're doing great. Nice job, Olivia. I love that you're labeling all your answers. Nice job, Jaden. Take another look at that D though, Jaden, okay? I think you got a little bit tripped there. Awesome job. We're at 17 more working seconds. You're doing fan fantastic. Awesome job, Olivia. Thanks for all those answers. Diego, nice job. Awesome. Let me know if you need any help, okay? Awesome. Let's take a look here, okay? So if I were to buy six apples that cost $1 each, how much would my total apples, how much would the total for the apples be? How much money? Nice job, Jaden. Very good, nice job, Lily. The apples would be $6. And then to that, I'm gonna add the price of my oranges. I'm buying three oranges that cost $2 each. How much are my oranges gonna cost? $6 as well. And if I add them together to get the total price, six plus six gets me $12. Nice job, Avery and Aaliyah. Yes, nice job. It equals $12. Oh, I put $2 signs there. 
Awesome. Okay. So now we're going to look at four apples and four oranges. Four apples is going to cost us how much money? What do we think? $12. Um, it's going to get us a total of $12, but we're taking it piece by piece, Diego. So four apples is going to cost us $4. $4. Our oranges, which cost four, four, we're buying four oranges that cost $2 each. So like Avery said, our oranges are going to add up to $8. And our total amount of price is going to be eight plus four, which is nice job, Jaden, $12 again. Oh my goodness, that's so silly. We got the same amount of money buying two different sets of things. Interesting. Hmm. Now, five apples is going to... <laughs> That not this, this isn't the constant rate of change here, but yes, um, that'll be the total price. So we have five apples, which is going to cost us five dollars, plus four oranges is going to cost us eight dollars. Nice job, uh, Sawyer and Avery. Fantastic to get a total of how much money? Thirteen dollars, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen dollars. Fantastic job. Eight apples is gonna cost us $8, plus two oranges times $2 each is gonna get me $4. And that's gonna be how much total money? What do we think? Eight plus four is $12. Nice job, Olivia and Avery, fantastic, $12. So look at this. We just had three different combinations that made $12. Hmm, interesting. They cost different amounts each. So ooh, I'm very, I'm very interested in what's, what are we going to do next with this? Let's see what we're going to do next with this, okay? So now I want you to take one minute right now to on your page, I want you to figure out, can you, if you have $10 to spend at the produce market, can you buy seven apples and two oranges? Is that a possible number of combinations that you can buy? If it is, you're gonna tell me in here, tell me why, yes or no, is that a possible combination? And I want you to show me your work. And the way that you show me your work is by just like um, Aaliyah did, she wrote out her, um, multiple, he, or her, her sentence here. Awesome job there. Aaliyah, fantastic. So you're gonna take one minute right now to tell me, is this a possible combination, yes or no? And show me the work to prove it to me. That was awesome job there, Aaliyah, perfect. So now let's look at if we're buying seven apples and two oranges. There we go. Awesome, we're taking another 23 seconds. Let me know in the chat, is this a possible combination? Yes or no, what do we think? Mm. Nice job, Olivia. Nice, oh, nice job. Nice clarification there on that. <laughs> nice job, Avery. Awesome job, Sawyer. Awesome, awesome job. So I have a few friends that gave me answers in the chat. Sawyer, do you wanna unmute? And can you tell us, what did you think? First of all, did you think this was a possible combination? Uh, at first, I thought no. Mm -hmm. Because I know the seven apples is like $1 each. And then for like, um, for like two oranges, it's $2 and that would be $4. And that's eleven dollars, so that's too much. Well, so can he buy? Can he buy that total amount? Can he buy seven apples and two oranges? No. But he oh, he wouldn't because he doesn't have enough money, right? Awesome. Buy apples and two oranges. Oh, so he said he said he can change it. He could say six apples and two oranges. Good. So if we made a change and we said. I'm only gonna buy six apples, then he would be able to do it. Awesome. But this exact combination is not gonna work out because he doesn't have enough money. Um, 
Awesome job, Sawyer. That was a really good explanation there. Let me just fix these spelling errors because Ms. Tremaine is not an English teacher. Avery, I like how you sort of gave this idea of no, he's $1 over. And Jaden, that was awesome because he said he only has $10 to spend, but it's going to cost a total of $11. Lily, that was a really fantastic explanation there. She said no because it would cost $11 because seven times one is seven, two times two is four. And then seven plus four is eleven dollars, and he doesn't have eleven dollars to spend. Lily, that was awesome, awesome, awesome work there, my friends. Awesome, fantastic. So when it says show or explain your reasoning, this is the type of thing that I'm looking for here. If you're looking, if they give you a combination and they ask, do they have enough money? We're gonna have to say no, and we're gonna show our work by writing that addition sentence. Okay. So here we go. This one was this one was a pretty good one. I think you guys did really good with this act, this activity here. If we look at number three on slide number six, this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky. So now we're going to look for some combinations of apples and oranges that Noah can buy and spend all of his ten dollars. So he has to spend exactly ten dollars. I want you to list out some combinations of apples and oranges that he can buy that adds up to a total of ten dollars. So I want you to take two minutes right now to think of some combinations of apples and oranges that he can buy that will give him a total of $10. Keeping in mind, you can buy all apples, you can buy all oranges, that is legal, okay? I have six possible combinations that we can go through and find. So I want you to take two minutes to find as many combinations as you can. There's gonna be a total of six, okay? If you have questions, throw them in the chat. Once you start to get combinations, you can also throw them in the chat, like blank apples or A equals O equals. Give me some combinations. What do we think? Nice job, Jaden. Nice job. Ooh, look at Jaden. He's a speed racer. Speed, speed racer. Oh my goodness. Ooh, nice. Anaya, I love it. Alyssa Button, that's fantastic. Yes, and I love, Anaya, you know what I love about your answer there is I love that you labeled which each one was. Yes, oh my gosh, yes. So great. So proud of you. Awesome job, Alyssa Button. We have 55 more seconds, guys. You're doing fantastic. Oh my gosh, Anaya is like on a roll today. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to tell Miss Albert how amazing you are. Oh my gosh. I mean, she knows how amazing you are, but ooh. this is scary good. Jaden, there's a couple more if you wanna keep thinking about some other combinations as well. Ooh, Avery. But we want to try to use all of his money though. Okay, Avery? So we want to move, we want to use exactly $10. So what combination of apples and oranges can get me exactly $10? Ooh, Anaya, nice job. Think about that, those, um, so four and, oh, I think you're one too many on the oranges there on that last one you sent, Anaya. Oh, nice correction, yes, girl. Yes, you can sort of use the same ones twice. Yes, Sawyer, awesome job. So guys, I am so amazingly proud of all of your answers that everybody put in here. Yes, oh my gosh. Jaden Ramos got, oh my goodness, Jaden Ramos got four. Anaya also got, ooh, Anaya got five. How many did she get? She got four as well. Oh my goodness, nice job. So let's take a look at some of these possible, ooh, Avery got six. Awesome, let's, let's go through and let's check these guys, okay? So if I had, let's see what Jaden, so Jaden and Anaya both said, what if I buy 10 apples? If I buy 10 apples that cost $1 each, I won't be able to buy any oranges. Oh my goodness, nice job on that one. Because 10 times one is 10, 
plus zero. Very good. And then if I bought eight apples, like Anaya said and Jaden said, if I bought eight apples, that'll cost us $8. I have two more dollars to spend and one orange costs $2. So if I buy eight apples, I can buy one orange. Aaliyah. Okay, I will, um, at the end, if you want to stay in and you can sort of unmute and you can, when it's just me and you, you can tell me how to say it, okay? Oh, I'm so proud of you, Zell. Oh my goodness. So if we buy 10 apples, then we can buy one orange with our money that's left, okay? Then if we buy, this is another one that, um, let's see who put this one in the chat. Six was going to get me. Jaden and Aaliyah, again, awesome, said that we would have six apples. That gives us um, that gives us six total dollars. We have four more dollars to spend. Two times two gives me two ten dollars total. Awesome job. If we buy, oh, I don't know about that though, Diego. We want to use all of our money. That doesn't use all of our money. If we buy, nice job, Avery. If we buy four apples, that'll cost us four dollars. And um, we have six more dollars to spend. Three oranges will get us to that 10 total dollars. Awesome job. If we finally have, or if we have two apples that we buy, that'll be $2. Um, we still have $8 left to spend. Two, four, six, eight, four apples I can buy. And then if I buy zero apples, I still have $10 to spend. Five, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. I can buy five apple oranges with that. Awesome, awesome job, everybody. Awesome, nice job. Um, and awesome, awesome job. If we were to create an equation for this scenario, this one is gonna look a little bit different because we look at apples cost $1 each. So apples, one, times the number of apples that we buy plus two times the number of oranges that we buy is going to get us a total of how much money did we want to spend here? We wanted to spend $10. Very good. So if we're looking at and we wanted to create an equation for this story, we would say $1 times the number of apples plus $2 times the number of oranges is going to get me a total of $10. So let me tell you what we're doing for the afternoon work for today. So this was a little bit of a fun sort of um, new idea for us. What you're doing this afternoon, here's the dealio, is going to be a little bit different and it actually is going back on some previous stuff that we have learned. Sorry guys. Okay. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be following along on the video that is posted on slide number 10. So you don't have to do anything with seven, eight, or nine. You're doing nothing with those ones. What you're doing is on slide number 10, you're gonna click on that cohort three and it's gonna take you to an Edpuzzle video. It's gonna look like this. And you're going to watch that Edpuzzle video and complete the activity along with me. So if we look, let me just turn this down a little bit because we have somebody joining us. Um, no, you don't have to do a slide uh, seven, eight or nine. You're just going right down to slide number 10 and you are gonna follow along and complete that activity, this whole activity with the video. It's not gonna take you too long. You're gonna try your best and you're gonna do your best that you can, okay? I know I have to, but I do sort of have to give you this work just so we can have a little bit of practice with it. Okay. No fear. Miss Jermaine is here to help you out. Exactly. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're going to watch the video under cohort three and you're going to complete this activity. It's not, it, the video seems a little bit long, but it gives you all of the time built in. So if I say take two minutes to do this, I build that time into the video. Okay. So the amount of the time in the video is all of the time that you're going to spend on it, okay? And remember, all of the answers, I go through all of the answers in the video. So you're never going to be like, well, what was the answer for that one? It'll be there, okay? If you're having questions, though, you're still going to send me emails just like you always do. And I can help you out or set up a time if we need a little bit of extra help, 
okay? <laughs> awesome. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And my friends, if you would like to head out to science, that would be pretty cool. I will see you all tomorrow. Have fun. Be safe. I might see you in the morning. I might not. I don't know what we're doing for school tomorrow, okay? Awesome job. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Wonderful. I'm going to stop my